Hi everybody and welcome back to the tasting room. We're sampling today a whiskey called Blackened. So this whiskey was actually a collaboration between the rock band Metallica and master distiller Dave Pickerel. And what they've done here is they've uh, they've taken uh, existing bourbon and rye whiskeys and blended them together and then finished them in blackened brandy casks. Now the other thing that they do here is uh, they use this method that they uh, that they've developed called black noise to try to enhance the flavor a little bit. And uh, essentially, what they're doing is they're taking their songs, Metallica's songs, and playing them through a subwoofer at the uh, at the barrels of whiskey in hopes that the disruption from the sound waves will help the whiskey move further into the barrel. You know, thus creating a deeper, richer flavor. Whether this process has any merit at all to it, I can't rightly speak to, but uh, it's an interesting idea. On to the whiskey. Now this one here is bottled at, what is the proof here, 45% uh, alcohol, so 90 proof. And uh, like I said, it was, uh, it was a blend of bourbon and rye whiskeys and finished in blackened brandy casks. So certainly a lot of, uh, a lot of elements going on that could add flavor to the whiskey. Okay, so first off here, I'm getting a sweet note of honey, along with a rich toasted oak here on the nose. Also aromas of vanilla in there. And I'm getting a couple of, I'm getting a couple of fruit notes here, likely from that, uh, from that brandy cask. Hmm. And then a little bit of brown sugar, too. Hmm. Okay, so some similar notes on the palate here. I'm getting some molasses, some more toasted oak. I'm getting a little bit, um, some more of those fruit forward, sweeter notes, uh, likely from that brandy. Got some caramels going on in there. Some spices of clove, nutmeg. Okay, I'm getting a medium length finish on this one here. Some peppery spices. Some notes of, uh, almost like a caramelized brown sugar. Now the presence of the toasted wood is, um, is definitely apparent in this one. Hmm. Okay, so on the nose for this one. Uh, we did have some honey, some brown sugar. There was a uh, a little bit of that slight fruitiness uh, from the uh, from from the from the brandy cask. You know, certainly some toasted oak that was apparent in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and rate the nose for this one at 20.5 points. On the palate, some similar notes: uh, some some toasted oak, some molasses, some caramel, some fruit. And then move closer to the finish with some spices of clove and nutmeg and black pepper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rate the taste for this one at 21 points. The finish, again, that peppery spice along with some caramelized brown sugar that it left you on the palate. Um, kind of rounded out a medium length finish for this one. I'm going to go ahead and put at 19.5. And then the overall balance for this one, I'm going to put at 21 points. And that, folks, is going to leave me with an overall score of 82 points for this blackened American whiskey. Well, thanks for joining me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It really does help out my channel, helps to push it out to more people who like this kind of content. And then, of course, if you're not already a member of my channel, go ahead and hit that button and subscribe. And then after you do, make sure you ding that little bell next to the subscribe button so you make sure you get notifications of new videos that come out. New videos come out on the weekends, and I would hate for you to miss one, so go ahead and do that for me, and I'll see you again next week right here on The Tasting Room.